bank balance will be even smaller than ever before, <laughs> yet my heart fuller than I've ever known. A day when I'll see all of Liam's family and mine under one roof. Mm. A day when I'll be 10,000 miles away from home, yet still feel at home. And a day when I see a man other than me make my beloved daughter happy than I can. As long as he keeps cooking and keeps the money coming. <laughs> from the first day we met Liam, we knew he was right for milk. It takes a very special man to send a card like the first one he did to me on Valentine's Day. The self recorded message in that card gave us a hint of the depth of their relationship <laughs> and the type of humour we can expect from him. <laughs> Mel stinks of shit. <laughs> amazing things about him. Liam has an incredible capacity to eat. <laughs> yet never get fat. He's an animal lover. He adores Martin. <laughs> and of course he loves sport. When Liam is watching sport on TV, it's as if he's gone to an old planet. I think it's only his passion for watching rugby that matches his level of concentration when he's eating. <laughs> he's always treated Megan and Martin like a younger sister and brother. He can even wind them up just like an annoying older brother. <laughs> we always enjoyed Liam's company and felt so relieved when we emigrated to know that Mel would be moving in as a man she loves so much. Some of the school prank, schoolboy pranks he played were downright irresponsible, but bloody hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. We love you and welcome you to our family as our very favourite son-in-law. Oh. We've enjoyed spending the last day or so with Jane and Peter, Dennis and Janet, Lucy and Paul and Nana. We're a warm and loving family and have been so kind to all of us. Thank you for taking care of Mel over the past few years while we've been in Australia, especially during the lead up to the wedding. We look forward to a deepening of our relationship. Melanie, what can I say? <laughs> We're so proud of you in so many ways. To see you in church today brought a tear to my eye and a lump to my throat. The way you've organised and managed this wedding today is typical of the way you've always lived your life, as fully as possible. Doing your absolute best at all times with great diligence. You've always shown a maturity beyond your years and have forged ahead with any plan you have, never allowing anybody to stop you or stand in your way. You look stunning today. Liam's a very lucky man. You're the apple of my eye and I've got a job handing you over to Liam. You've worked wonders with this wedding, though you really have. You've thought of everything from the flowers, table decor, music, accommodation, church flowers, invitations, hen night and bridesmaids dresses. It's hard to imagine what you'll spend your time doing after your big day goes. <laughs> <laughs> Finishing your PhD, probably. <laughs> and playing the rest of your life with Liam. Little did we know when you were five or so, making up stories about pop ball and the fairies down the garden, <laughs> or moaning about the teacher in her clock master shoes. <laughs> but many miles away in Newport, there's a little boy called Liam. <laughs> <laughs> Probably just beginning to discover the delights of football, rugby, and some other things. <laughs> Nobody could have been less sporty than you, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> you missed your first sports day in reception class as you were sick. As ever, one jump ahead of us, you murmured. I feel sorry for this to Derek now, because that means she'll come last in all the ways. <laughs> <laughs> served you well throughout your school years. <laughs> you studied hard and continued to succeed. In your first year at uni, you met Liam, and things between you clicked straight away. Liam even managed to get you to start working out, kickboxing and jogging. He took care of you, and we enjoyed seeing you both together. You never did win any Olympic medals, but just a few weeks ago, 
Well, it's the silver medal in Greece for your PhD work. Congratulations. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd like to thank these people for the contribution they've made to today. Jane and Peter have contributed so much to this beautiful day. They've supported Mel and Liam with decisions over the wedding for many months. I thank you also for the lovely breakfast this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis and Janet have welcomed Mel into their home at Christmas Eve and given them a great time, including on karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've seen the photos. <laughs> so all for being Liam's best man, and the ushers, Peter, Andrew, Paul, Richard and Martin, have all done a great job. The bridesmaids, Christine, Sarah, Lucy and Megan. Christine especially, who organised a secret hen night, and to Sarah and Lucy for supporting Mel with her choice of dress for herself and for her bridesmaids. And Megan for giving so much help to Mel last week and during our stay at Bradley House. Megan, please don't get married for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Evening, Christine's bread, who made Christine's dress. Celia Manning, the amazing photographer. Rachel Lee for all the flowers. Reverend Paul Barnes for marrying Mel and Liam today. The caterers William, William and Stephanie Mason and their team. David and Kim Mattia and the staff of Dudley House. And Will and Charlie Hall who are mango acoustic for the beautiful music which we'll enjoy later. And Hannah for the cupcakes. <laughs> and Janet, Dennis and Jane for funding and organising the cake. And for all of the, those who have attended today, especially those who have travelled quite some distance, Sue and Alan from Scotland, Scott, Hayley, Nicola, Martin, Chris and Pam, and Sarah from London, Christine and Tom from Southampton, Jane and Peter and family from Newport, along with many of Liam's friends. And for all of you who come here today to make Mel and Liam's day so special. Thank you all. Today is truly one of the happiest days of my life. The other one was the day that Mel was born, mm -hmm. and of course my wedding day. I know that Mel and Liam are even more happy than I am. I'm so proud and happy that one half of this study couple is my responsibility <laughs> and that the other is a son that I'm honoured to call my own. I want to toast the bride and groom and wish them many years of happiness together and advise them to love one another, to remember to laugh every day, take time for one another, even in the simple things, and when you fall out, don't go to bed angry. So let's toast our bride and groom and pray for happiness the last, the right time. Mm. Brian Drew, Mr. and Mrs. Liam Collins, mm. good health, good happiness, good love, and a long and happy life together. Thank you. 